party in your life. Well, thank you, but I don't drink. Oh, it's not a drink, really. It's a cocktail. Good luck, darlings. Joe's the old one over there. Work your magic. to make the rabbit run. Are you sure that's wise? Hmm. Bill, darling. Delicia, sweetheart. Lovely to see you. This is, um, Charlotte Warren. Do you know each other? A pleasure. How nice to see you again. Phil and I had such a lovely lunch together today, didn't we, darling? <laughs> Well, I thought he'd have a big appetite after last night. And may I suggest retiring to a safe distance? Well, I think you're absolutely right. Tin hat on. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's uh, Phil Goldman. How do you do? Oh, we've met before, actually. You were entirely naked at the time. Guinevere? Is that you? My goodness. You look marvellous. Charlotte, I just wanted to let you know there are no hard feelings. That is so gracious of you. To the victor, the spoiled, to the vanquished, two calms for press night. And so wise. I hope I can be like that one day. Wisdom requires more than the passing of years, I fear. Though, a little bird tells me that the part of the crippled mother is still open. You'd look ravishing with a stick. <laughs> <laughs> and I won't forget about those tickets. Is it two, three, four? <laughs> Silly me, I've forgotten how many boyfriends you've got. <laughs> Now, Philip, how are your deliberations over Pile on the Pepper proceeding? Oh, well, between you and me, Charlotte has the most alluring singing voice, and I have to say, Daddy's quite keen. Well, in fact, more than keen. So you're going to give Miss Warren the part? Daisy's going to be a bit off colour about it all, I'm afraid. Hey ho! <laughs> Just one question. Does Charlotte have quite the same attachment to you as Delicia? No. No, no, she certainly doesn't. Do you think that was more than a passing attraction? I mean, we both know actresses, Guinevere. <laughs> it did occur to me that it might be, you know, purely to secure the part. I have no doubt that Mr. Foss believes that you are one of the most... unquestionably the most important man in that room. My dear woman, do you really think so? I do. The scales have fallen from my doubting eyes. So pleased to have helped. Helped? You've just made me the happiest man in the world. You seem to have made quite an impression on him. Oh, yes, I, I do, don't I? Uh, Joe Blomfield. A great pleasure. Have we met before? I feel sure I recognize you from somewhere. I don't think so. But I'm delighted to make your acquaintance. Your fiance, I believe. Edith, um, no longer my fiance, I'm afraid. Really? I'm so sorry. Not a permanent rift, I hope. It would be ungentlemanly of me to enter the details. Of course. Look, no, these things are amazing, aren't they? Uh, may I? Why not? I'm afraid not. Nor is there likely to be. Transformations work both ways, Guinevere. It would take me 30 seconds to put you back in the soup, kitchen cube. I told you, I never forget a face. Victoria Station. Nor have I forgotten with whom you shared a taxi last night. Oh, you have. If you want to continue working for Delicia, you have. Now we all of us need things in our life. I need Joe for his... Well, he's a man of connections, and you need... You need to stay off the streets, I imagine. I see Edith has told you all. If it weren't to commit another indiscretion, I might disclose that he did this. 
As Miss LaFosse would say, crazy about you. <laughs> to be indiscreet back, she's rather more crazy about my position in the fashion world than she is about me. A woman scorned is a dangerous thing. And a bruised heart will often speak harshly, Mr. Bonfield. Oh, I sometimes wonder where Edith's heart has got to. You people. With your green drinks and your parties and your subterfuges. You're all playing at love. One minute her, the next minute someone else. Flip, flip, flip. Well, I'm not playing. Love is not a game. magic again. I can't do it. You've already done it. Joe just came up and asked me if he was being a cad breaking off the engagement. I have no idea what you said, but I believe we've got him. <laughs> Must be extraordinary being you. Extraordinary? Yeah, very, very ordinary. Uh, Delicia, <laughs> darling, is it true what Guinevere said? Well, if Miss P said it, you can bet your shirt on it. So uh, I can tell the whole world about you and me. Officially an item, what, till death us do part. What? The very same time that you announce your casting decision, sweets. Oh. And what better time than right now? You're absolutely right, damn it. This very minute. Come on, gorgeous. No time to waste. To horse! Well, I suppose that was necessary. You wanted the part. He'd already chosen the rabbit. No, Delicia, you mustn't do this. But I must. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> as you might know, I'm putting on pile on the pepper at the ambassador, don't you know? Uh, have I mentioned this? <laughs> Anyway, it is my pleasure to announce that I have today cast the lead actress, what? She is not only Hortensia in Pile on the Pepper, she is also my Hortensia, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your Hortensia and my Hortensia, Delicia LaFosse. Let's dance! Thank you. 